Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to Shit Trainer Say. I did not pick that one. Uh, I picked it. So if you want to be offended, be blame offended. me and be offended. But whatever, you, even if you're offended, we want you to listen. Uh, it's going to be a weekly podcast broadcast right here from Catalyst. Uh, and it's just going to be typical conversations that we have with our clients every day that benefit them. And I think everybody who's into health and fitness can benefit from. So the podcast is going to run anywhere from five to 20 minutes. So they're real short. Uh, they're going to be on our YouTube channel. And also we're going to set up them on, set them up on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, all those places where you can get podcasts. So, and this is our first episode. So today we're going to talk about a conversation that Deb had with one of our clients and we will leave the names of clients out right. unless they want us to, uh, want us to highlight unless it has a little bit more impact in the story. But, uh, most of our clients will remain anonymous mm -hmm. because the lessons can really apply to anybody. So Deb, you want to introduce yourself? I'm Jim Adams. I'm the owner of Catalyst. I've been training for 30 years uh, I've owned this facility, Catalyst Personal Training, for five years. Deb has been with me. She's my right hand for four of those years. Uh, I've had my own podcast for four years as well. So this is kind of a side project, passion project of mine. And I wanted to do something for our clients uh, so that they could benefit from our knowledge. And Deb, you want to introduce yourself? Uh, sure. My name is Debbie Roman. I am the general manager here at Catalyst. I've been a personal trainer for six or seven years, and I enjoy being here with you guys. I work here full time, and I'm really excited about this project. I think it's going to be good for uh, specifically for our Catalyst members. Um, we always try to show you guys that we care about you. We want to do as much as we can to help you in every aspect of your life, not only at the gym. Right. Absolutely. So. Dead on. And then you want to share the conversation you had with one of the clients today? Yeah. So I think that um, especially, you know, being Monday, today's Monday, um, we're like, you know, on this mindset of I'm going to get it done. I'm going to go to the gym. And sometimes we forget why we come to the gym and why we do the things that we do to take care of ourselves. Uh, today we were having a conversation. I was having a conversation with two of her, two of her clients. One of them, she uh, is recently divorced. She has four kids. So that's like a lot of kids. Like one kid is too much. Like four, I, I don't know bless her heart um that's a lot of tiny humans a lot of tiny humans <laughs> um so she was saying that for the last three years she didn't do anything for herself you know and she was really excited about the fact that coming to catalyst was the first thing in her life after doing everything she had to do for her kids and getting divorced that this was the first thing for her that she felt she was doing specifically for her and we were going back and forth and it kind of sounded like she felt guilty about it. She was like, well, you know, I just want to make sure I'm not, you know, sp spending too much money or being away from my kids, you know, and, and one of her uh, other clients, she said, you shouldn't feel guilty about this. You should be proud that you are teaching your ki kids by example, that you're taking care of yourself and that you're doing this and, and it's eventually going to make you stronger and a better mom. And she was like, oh my God, that is so true. I love coming here. And it just hit me a little bit because, you know, like sometimes when you guys come here, I get aggravated when you like talking too much. <laughs> so, and I'm like, come on, talking and working. But I really think that listening to those conversations really reminds me why you guys are here. And it just helps me to give you a better experience in general. You know, because everybody has a different why. Why are you here at the gym? And not everybody is open about it. So when you guys do say things like this, it really, really helps us just help you, if that makes sense. Yeah, and I like that because we really do try to create a community here, which is why it's so important to feel welcome and safe here so that you can mm -hmm. have conversations like that yeah. so that you can have your why validated because I actually have heard that a lot and a lot of people have that mentality of, 
well, I don't want to be selfish and I don't want to be self-centered. Yeah. But, you know, I use the analogy of every time you get on a plane, they tell you this, put your mask on first. Mm -hmm. Put your mask on first so you don't pass out before you can put the mask on your loved ones. And so that applies to life as well. You know, how can you fill somebody else's cup if your cup isn't full? So if you're using this to take care of yourself and this is your me time, this is your me take care of myself, fill my cup time, this is where I get healthy, where I feel better about myself, where I can do things that I want to do so then I can therefore go out and do those for my kids or my loved ones or my family, then that is important. Mm -hmm. But you don't realize that or you don't get verification of that until somebody until you share that with somebody and they verify that yes indeed you shouldn't feel guilty about it matter of fact you should protect this time mm -hmm. you should draw a fence around this time or protect it because that's what you need in order to give to other people wouldn't you agree Deb? i agree 100 percent. and i'd like to tell you guys that this is a safe environment and what I mean, I mean by that is that even though your goal might have nothing to do with my goal or somebody else's goal, it, it's somehow we find a way to all be together in this. And it's just really, um, I don't know, exciting for us to see how you guys can take a little bit of everything in life and make this your time and your mission and just help each other grow you know, more than physically, honestly. And I see it a lot when we do the large group classes um, because we usually have the same clients who come to the same classes every week. And then just the way you guys motivate each other, like that's why you're here. That's why you need this environment and this community. So yeah. I think that's awesome. So just always feel free to come talk to us um, about your goals and what we can do to help and push you just say it out loud in the gym here you know nobody here is going to judge you and honestly this is the first gym that i can say 100 percent. there's no judgment people here are so open-minded and so welcoming that i think we need to take care of it and we are going to take care of it by you know doing it more so yeah and so we want to thank you guys for yeah. listening to this first episode. And this is just basically is what it's going to be. It's going to be us telling you about conversations that we have with our clients or every with day ourselves. or between ourselves every day that we think that other, everybody can benefit from. So again, appreciate you guys listening. Uh, if, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of the shit trainers say. Uh, <laughs> And if you like what you hear, leave us a review. Of course, we love five stars. But if you have some uh, feedback that we need to hear, we are open to that. And um, if you have any questions, fire okay. those out and we will answer those on the podcast as well. Yeah, if you have any topics, um, you know, because fitness is just not about nutrition and exercise. We understand that it's way more than that. And we want to make sure that we feel like we understand you and that we can communicate with you but yeah just reach out if you need anything and we hope to see you soon absolutely so so stay stay tuned and uh we will uh continue to chat with you guys thanks a lot have a great day okay bye, bye now.